A new study predicts that ridership on the already packed red line will double by 2040. But commuters fed up with the T's undependable service say that's a future they can't stomach. It's just gone to me from bad to worse. I would, if you ask me, it bring back the shuttles. Like the platforms are like 10 deep and nobody can get on because from your first stop, it's, it's full. It hasn't been good. I think somewhere last week it was so hot down there. Um, there was no AC in the train. You are in a giant sauna the whole time. It feels like there's absolutely no air movement or AC whatsoever, which is also interesting that <laughs> if they're going to make you sit on the train twice as long, they don't have that part worked out. Coming to work, it's 90 degrees sometimes, you're wearing pants. It's not the best having somebody like right up next to you. Um, especially when you're trying to hold on to something and you don't want to fall over. Uh, but yeah, it, it's not it's not the best feeling when there's a hundred people around you. There's constant delays. Um, sometimes when I'm in the cart, there's like no AC in there, so it's like a steam bath in there. Everyone's sweating. Morning, I can miss two or three trains before I can actually get onto like one, and then I'm late to work. I mean, at this point now, the office is uh, it's come a norm now, I guess. So like, if you're just like, hey, I'm late due to the train, it's sort of accepted. <laughs>